Alright, let's go ahead and graph y equals tangent 2x. That helps you, we need to identify all of the letters A, B, C, and D. So I can rewrite above or below A tangent B X. Class, what's our A value? One. Remember, for tangent and cotangent, this is not really an amplitude of 1, so you can call it a fake amplitude. Class, our B value? 2. Our B value is 2. Partner A, tell partner B, what's the equation for the period? Our period should be pi over B. I heard many of you guys say that. Good job. So then pi divided by 1, or just pi. The length of the graph to start and end is pi. What does that mean? It's kind of like the length of a school year, is 180 school days. Good job, you. <laughs> pi over 2. Now, this is not specific, because it doesn't tell you where to start and where to end. So you can use the inequality, 0 to 2 pi. And you're going to put everything to the right. Which direction, class? To, to the right. right. To the right of the trig function. I'm going to put there. Eh, mistake. Should be between 0 and pi. Right, pi. So there's your 2x. And this helps you explain, if you divide by 2, that means your start will be 0, let's write that, start at 0, and you'll end at pi over 2. We learned on Friday before break that I'm going to draw my graph here in the middle. But we're going to have to extend it and have more. So we're going to have a graph on the left and on the right. Let's draw our graph. I put bullet points to show my first original five points. To help me find the intervals. I'm going to put zero and pi over two. <coughs> Remember, if it helps you, <coughs> you can double these. So here I have 0 pi over 2 and 1 pi over 2. So we can call this 0 pi over 4 and 2 pi over 4. And the reason why I did that is so you can do 0 plus 2 is? Divided by 2 is? So 1 pi over 4. <coughs> if you're still stuck, always again just um, double them. So I have 0 pi over 8, 2 pi over 8, and 4 pi over 8. Class 0 plus 2? Two. Divided by 2? So 1 pi over 8. 0, 1, 2, and this one is 3 pi. So you can see all the equivalent fractions. And you can go back and just circle the ones we actually need. So we're still at 0. 1 pi over 8. I'm not going to circle this one because it's not reduced. Reduced. And reduced. And those are my 5 x values. Let's write down those 5 x values to help me get my 5 points that I need. Alright, so if you look back above <coughs> what we're doing here, we have the x values. Class, what's the math operation between 2 and x? So we need to multiply by 2. So I'm taking my x values in this row, and I'm just multiplying by 2. 0 times 2? Pi over 8 times 2? 
2 pi over 8, which is pi over 4. Pi over 4 times 2? 3 pi over 8 times 2? That'll be 6 pi over 8 and 3 pi over 4. <coughs> pi over 2 times 2? Everyone say the golden row. I call it the golden row <coughs> because this is uh, the values that you need for tangent. We spent two weeks graphing sine and cosine. Do you remember how sine starts at 0? Goes to 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. Mm -hmm. Cosine goes from where? Zero. Ah. 1, 0, negative 1, 0. That's the golden row, right? For tangent, it's this. It's okay if you forget that this is the golden row and we're going to keep getting the same values. If you get stuck, <coughs> draw yourself a unit circle, but don't label all of it because you don't need all of it. Tangent at zero. Tangent is which two letters? X, Y, and R. Is it x over y? y over x. So here, at 0, what's the order pair cost? One, zero. That means my y over x is 0 over 1, which is 0. Pi over 4. I'm going to put the x's here to skip the 30's. <coughs> the order pair here is radical 2 over 2 and radical 2 over 2. So I need y's over the x. So this expression over this expression is just going to be equal to 1, right? Anything over itself is equal to 1. Pi over 2. Class, what's the order pair? 0, 0 1. Tangent is y over x. Class, what's 1 divided by 0? Now, some students will rush this. <coughs> it is okay to type in your calculator 1 divided by 0. 3 pi over 4 is the same exact order pair, it's just your x values are negative. The same expression over itself, but 1 is negative. Positive divided by negative just gives me negative 1. If you haven't seen the shortcut, 45 degrees or the um, pi's over 4's for tangent and cotangent are all 1's and negative 1's. Pi, what's your order pair? Negative 1, 0. Yeah. Tangent is y over x, 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So here is our golden row for tangent. Go ahead and graph that. I'm going to locate where it is 0, that becomes my y-axis, because I don't have an amplitude in the sense that it's only a 1, you can just arbitrarily put wherever you want a 1 and a negative 1. I like to graph the undefined first. There's my asymptote at pi over 4. I can go back now and graph all the other ones. At 0, I have 0. At pi over 8, I have 1. Pi over 4 is undefined. At 3 pi over 8, I have negative 1. And at pi over 2, I have 0. So right now, my graph looks something like this. Now 
Now, I know that Tangent should look like a snake. And I only have half of the snake. Which means now I need to do more. So I have a complete graph. Well, look at this. We originally started with how many points? Count with me. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. So I still need five points starting from the asymptote. Count with me. Ready to go. One, two, three, sorry, sorry. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, did you see how I used bullet points for the original five and hash marks for the additional points? Yeah. And you'll recognize that every fifth point, including the first one, one, two, three, four, five, is an asymptote. Count this direction. Ready, set, go. Three, four, five. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you, once I get the x values, let's do that together. Notice how here you're just counting by pi over eight. Do you see that? What is this one going to be? This one. Do we leave it at six pi over eight? 3 pi over 4. Do you see that? How about this one here? Negative 1 pi over 8. And how about this one? Negative 2 pi over 8, which is negative, negative pi over 4. You can actually take this and do the same thing we did. You can put it in here, multiply by 2, and find the tangent of that value, and you'd recognize that it's an undefined. Why did I expand more points? We're trying to look for a snake. You can kind of see it. You can follow your fingers, so if you put yours here at the x-intercept, you'll notice the next point over is at negative 1. And then you have the undefined. So undefined, negative 1, zero. Here's going to be a one. And here's another neat little trick. Notice how these three points that I have here, they form a line. Do you see it? And now we can graph it. <laughs> now if you ever forget the shape, you can actually put this into your calculator. Remember that we're using radian, so make sure your calculator is in radian mode. And then when you press zoom, make sure it's on uh, zoom trig. I think number seven.